here one, it's me again. Um try to keep this kinda quick, but uh I thought I'd come back again, make a video. Um not too much to update on work today. Um uh, work has been so frustrating the past three days, it's unbelievable. Um so we were battling with this other part on this my machine for the longest time. We eventually moved it now. We're starting a different part which I've done before a while ago and we had just tons of issues with setting it up with uh you know there's uh fixturing that you put in that holds the parts and stuff and you gotta put those in a certain way and they have to be in a per certain place and it's all very complicated but um there are major major issues and battling away, battling away um all day yesterday pretty much or most of the day yesterday and all day today was another complete waste. I'm getting very frustrated but now we are the point where we think it's going to be okay. We think we figure out what's going on. Um, before it messed up again, I was cutting pieces and it was, seemed to be running well. I was bringing it to the right size, which ended up messing up, which I'm really mad at myself about because I've done it a few times. And, you know, works mentioned already, not to me, but in just in general, that we need to be way more careful. And it's always the same kind of little mistakes. And I've done it again. So I'm very frustrated with myself. Um, because I've uh, I've done it a few times. I think I've done it a few times now, and it's always because of you know not reading something properly or whatever. But in this case, like I was fairly confident that I read it properly. I put in what I thought it said, and then what I needed to change, and then I did that, and it ended up being the wrong size. So you know, I'm kind of frustrated because it was you know I'm not very uh, not very knowledgeable 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 in uh like very mathematical stuff and there's definitely some math there that I have to sit there and I'm always like writing things down and I'm just going over it again and again because my brain just doesn't click really quick with the math stuff as we know. Um but you know as far as I knew I was pretty sure I calculated it right. Now usually I, you're supposed to use this other thing to measure it, but I was using this which is okay because I thought it would be easier for me to read it and it might be better accuracy for me, but it turns out today it let me down, so <sighs> I should have used the other one that I should have used. I should actually, in the future, I'm going to be using both, so hopefully this won't happen again. It's really, it needs to stop happening. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of just, I'm just, I'm really hard on myself with something like that. Um, you know, I'm all about making mistakes and stuff. I think it's really is a a big thing in life to make mistakes, but when you're continually making the same mistakes over again, when does it give, right? Like, what what do I need to change is basically what's bothering me right now is what do I need to do to make sure this doesn't happen again? Because every time I this happens, I come up with something new that I need to do, and I did with using this other measuring tool instead of the other one because I had trouble reading it before. Well, now it's like opposite. Now the other one I'm looking at, I'm like, oh yeah, that looks, I can totally tell that's wrong because I was using the right gauge. The other one I was like fiddling a bit, like it's all very like it's precise. Like you're measuring something. Like if you move your hand a bit like this, it'll show you a different number, and if you move it a bit like this, it shows you a different number. So to find the correct number that you're actually wanting, it drives me crazy because it'll check it, check it again, check it five times, you get a different number every time. It starts making you go a little nuts. So today I'm really not too sure if I was reading it and thought I had more to go, but I was already too far. I think it was something to do with that. So in the future, I'm going to use both gauges, um, both checking gauges, and hopefully that's going to do it. But I'm not going to babble about work all the time, but that's really bothering me right now. I'm like frustrated with my, this setup and then messing up something up too. It really hasn't been a good couple days at work. Um, you know, things are ramping up with this other part again. We're hoping to work out some issues and get it back on my machine, which then comes concerns for me once that's running in full production. How is that going to work for, you know, measuring and stuff like that? Like, I don't want to be scrapping these ones because these are very expensive. The ones I'm doing now, I think, are middle of the road. They're not cheap, but I've scrapped out way more expensive ones before, and they definitely weren't happy about those ones. So, uh, I don't know. Frustrated. But there's not much I can do. Try to learn the best I can from it, I guess, and, uh, you know, you just gotta roll with the punches kind of thing. You gotta just say, you know, did it, screwed up, it is what it is kind of thing, right? I just, uh, I'd like to come up with a better plan on how I can prevent this from happening in the future, but 
So I have to continue to think about, I guess. I don't know. Um, definitely being more diligent, checking more, um, and definitely doubling up and using both the gauges. Every other time I do, and this time I didn't. Stupid me. It's my own fault. Anyways, enough about that. Um, so hopefully tomorrow's a better day. You know, I left things in a good place to come into in the morning. Um, so when I come in, all I gotta do is, you know, I'm gonna double, triple check everything, and I can put a piece in, and I can make my first piece which uh, should be a good part because I made an adjustment after I messed them up. I made an adjustment so that it would be proper, actually a little bit smaller, so that I can always take more material off, but I can't put it back on, you know. So that works. So, yeah, it's kind of like the thing I battle with is knowing, like, sometimes I'm reading it wrong and I'm thinking I need to take more off when I actually need to take the less off. I've done that a few times. That's always actually what the issue ends up being, reading something incorrectly. So really comes down to me and I need to be more diligent and step it up as far as this goes because it's too many times I'm not allowing myself to do it this many times so anyways enough of that I had to rant just get that off my chest I think um hopefully get it off my mind and stop worrying about it I just keep thinking about what I'm going to do about it but it doesn't help worrying doesn't help and it doesn't get you anywhere I keep doing that anyway <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I think tonight I'm going over to my uh, friend's cross street here. Uh, go over there and hang out with her for a little bit and her husband. And she has four little kids. She has two twin little boys. And, oh, they're so cute. They're about, I just think they just turned a year. And then she has a little boy. I think he's like four. And she has a little girl. I think he's like three, two, three-ish. Um, so... They're cuties. Um, but I was over there, I was watching them for a minute while she went to the store the other day, and I'm just like sitting there like, oh my gosh, I couldn't do this all day. They're like all staring at me, and then all of a sudden they start walking around and stuff. Not like they weren't crazy or wild or anything, which I was really glad for because I would have been like, oh my gosh, these are kids are good, and I'm scared. So couldn't imagine a crazy bunch of kids. But um, yeah, I think that's about it. You know, mostly just thinking about work. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, thanks to everyone who watched my last video. Got a few comments on there uh, about my room and stuff, so thanks for that. Um, it looks kind of white on camera, but it really does look better in real life. I mean, camera doesn't really do it justice. I feel like everything just washes together now in my background as far as the wall and the bed and everything. I just don't know if I like it as much, but it's a change. It's definitely, but oh, I can't say I don't like it as much. I like it better than the blue and red. That's really dumb. I had that since I was really young. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna let y'all go. Go have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.